Yeah. I, yes, I play Lynn Pierce. I play the wife of um, ex-wife actually of Black Lightning, aka Jefferson Pierce. Um, high school sweetheart. Um, she's one of the only people that knows about his superpowers. And eventually, you know, she decides that it's too much for her to, you know, potentially not have her husband come home again. You know, she's a mother of children, so they end up separating, and he hangs up the. The, hangs up the, the mask eventually but um, once the children get older and they start getting into some troubles he feels like he's got no choice but to, to put the mask back on and um, and help them and help them kind of obviously manage their superpowers as well so so the producers are known for creating these amazing female characters um, how does your character fit into that fold? Um, you know I think what I love about um, Mara and Celine and what they're doing is that they are really determined to, to, to make it feel like it's rooted in a reality and you know of course the fight sequences are going to be amazing and of course you know when he sets things on fire that's going to be amazing but I think they feel really strongly that it's about this family who really kind of are the same as a lot of families you know the marriage didn't quite work out the girls are becoming teenagers one of them is getting into trouble and doing things she shouldn't do you know it's like a real regular family dynamic and I think you know what Mara and Selim want to do is like push that to, to the sort of I suppose really focus on that rather than the superhero you know and I think the superhero is like a great cherry on top obviously but I think this this family you know I think that's what the audience is going to go with and I think also just in terms of Lynn again she's like a regular she's a working mum she's a lawyer and then she's got these two girls and she's got an ex-husband and she's got a new husband and now the girl's going to get superpowers so she's going to be doing the juggle you know the sort of like all working mums do I mean that's what they do so I think it's just it just feels really real you know so I'm really excited about that actually and I'm excited about the opportunity to kind of you know try and mould these young women into something that's gonna you know serve them for their lives do you get to have any action in stuff? well not as far as I know, but I wouldn't be surprised if there might be. I mean, I might have to. I might have to leap to somebody's defence at some point. But <laughs> I haven't had the official word yet. How aware of Black Lightning were you before this chapter? You know, not really at all. Obviously, as you can hear, I'm from England, so we had a diff. We sort of have growing up. We had a kind of different relationship to comics. I mean, we had Batman, Superman, but those were really those came to us by the movies the original movies but comic books were a lot more sort of quaint and sort of um, whimsical and not so action driven so the, you know really I'm completely new I've sort of started digging into all the Black Lightning comics and they're um, amazing I mean it's just like an, as you know it's an infinite universe so I feel like I could read 10 comics and I still would be nowhere near kind of figuring out all the pieces. But that's really exciting, I think, to be part of something that sort of is infinite, you know, like there's so many stories to tell, which is great. We don't ever want to run out of material, ever. <laughs> How far have you all shot yet? Nothing. No, you haven't shot anything yet? Ah. To be part of uh, comic book diversity, we're just starting to get into the years of Black Panther. Amazing. Amazing. I mean, it's historical, and it's, it's it's about time. I mean, let's face it. But I think what I'm most excited about is just for, you know, young African-Americans, black people, to actually see something on screen that is them, you know, and I think this sense of ownership that we've seen already, even from the small amount of footage that's out there, the response has been amazing. And I think this sense that, you know, black people, female, male, they, they have something that belongs to them, you know, and I think that's really important. It's really powerful and it, you know, they should be represented. This, you know, thank you guys. Thank you. Thank, thank, you, thank you very much. much.